citizens of Morley. Welcome to the 15th annual Morley Arts Festival. So I opened my dance school in Morley in 2004, the year after my daughter was born. Started with all Morley children, there were only three of them on the first lesson and it's built from there to almost 100 students this day. Peekaboo has been in Morley um, nine years. We sell Spanish clothing, which is a little bit different but really popular. I am a Morley lady, so I'm Morley through and through. There's some lovely people in Marley, some lovely shops, some lovely businesses, and I just like to be part of it and part of the community. So Marley is a really vibrant town on the outskirts of Leeds, and it's such a special place. It's got a really active town centre. We've got a higher than average number of independent businesses. It's always got such a vibrant community spirit going on. We're really well known for our annual events calendar. There's usually something going on nearly every weekend of the year. It's such a buzzy little place. I think what makes it really special and unique though is it's people. I always say you don't have to leave Morley for anything other than to catch a plane. We don't yet have an airport, but it, you know, you don't have to leave Morley for anything. Either. There's plenty of shops, there's places to eat and drink. There's, we've got loads of schools who are all really successful and it's a fantastic place for business and commerce as well. And it's just a place where people choose to set up and succeed in business. It means everything. I've, I've lived here from day one of being born. I'm 65 years of age this year and I just love Marley. Just, I just love it. I couldn't think of living anywhere else really. This is my home. I was born and bred here. Well, Marley's a special place because of the people who are in it. And these people are very helpful. They, they support the community, they support the town. That's why Marley is what it is. It's uh, a very nice place to be. Well, I went to school at Woodkirk High School and every Saturday I used to come into Marley to just walk around and see see Marley. I've been coming to Marley now for about 40 years. I love coming to Marley, I love coming to chat to meet people, and I love laugh. Everybody, everybody kind. They're like family, it's like a family group. I've grown up in Marley. I went to high school there, and I've always found it a really cool community, like really nice community vibe. Yeah, it seemed like the, the perfect place to, to start our new venture, and. Yeah, we look forward to working with everyone in the Molly community and adding to the community. Covid presented lots of challenges for us. One, one of the quick wins for us was actually because of our base here in Morley, we were actually able to set up as a volunteer hub, providing local service to local people who were under lockdown. And working with local volunteers, we were able to provide a shopping service, food parcels for those that needed it and couldn't afford, trips to the local pharmacy. We even did some dog walking as well to, to help people out in whatever way they needed. And that's been a project that we've been delivering in partnership with the City Council for over the last six months and it's still continuing. I think people are facing more issues now because of COVID-19 and lockdown and it's become more apparent that people are suffering in different ways than we wouldn't before so this is why this sort of outlet that we have here is so so important. I wouldn't do without this place. The last six months I've absolutely missed it. I've made a lot of friends here that I meet here every week and it is good friendship as well because I look forward to coming here on the Monday. Nine's Hours is a traditional British cafe with a twist. We do both traditional British food, but we also do food that fits in with diet plans or people's healthy eating. There's the hint of Nigella's with a twist. We opened Nigella's in May of this year, having, having an, an offer accepted on the cafe in February. Then obviously we had the COVID situation that hit um, and we weren't sure whether to push forward or whether to retreat. So actually no, we'll wait until we've got more information. But having been made redundant from a major corporate company, the prospect of finding a job for me was pretty slim. So it was, well, you took the chance, take a chance and see what you can do with it. I thought it was important to carry on for my customers basically and for the people that needed your support and the loyalty to, to the Marley people to support the economy and to keep us going and, and to give a bit of something back to the customers to try to help. I've always worked and worked hard but I just couldn't let the business go under when everybody needed you, you know, so it was a case of get up and get on. I was in a dance lesson when the news came through that 
um, UK schools were going to have to close due to COVID. Within five minutes, I realised that the dance school was going to have to close. It was really difficult and at first I thought, well, you know, this is it, there's nothing we can do about it. And then realised that I had to show them that they didn't have to give up and there had to be a way around it. And the next day we launched classes online. So on the Wednesday evening, we closed the studio door and the Thursday we did his first online class and we continued for six months until we could reopen. We've all had to adapt. We've all had to try and be safe and keep clean, tidy. Distancing, main, main part one, uh, masks. We should all be wearing masks. Uh, obviously some are exempt, but fine, we have other ways of working around. Shields to go across instead of face masks. It has been very hard. It really has for the town, but we are still moving forward safely for people. It's, it's really good. It's a different way of shopping now is this COVID, you know, for all of us. I've tried to do everything I can in the shop to make our customers feel very safe. We had a really good deep clean before we reopened. We have screens around us, we have our masks. I have masks for people if they haven't got them when they come in, we sanitise. So we clean every day thoroughly. So just to try and reassure everybody that we're doing everything that we possibly can and following guidelines like we should be. Morley Arts Festival is now in its 15th year. We've traditionally delivered a festival fortnight during autumn, which has included a lot of face-to-face -face audience and participation events and activities. So we're now looking for different opportunities to rev it up a little bit in the current situation. So we're doing a lot more digital online virtual events, thanks to Zoom, and also a lot more artist commissions and and art engagement, which has attracted a lot of different audiences, a lot of younger audiences, which is something that the Arts Festival has seen a gap in in the past. So although a pandemic's quite a radical way of getting there, we feel like we're now working completely differently and thinking differently and we're engaging new audiences and new people. Well, I was born in Morley during the Second World War, right at the peak of it, in Morley Hall, which at that time was a maternity hospital and was a maternity hospital for Morley ladies for over 50 years. Actually, I spent most of my life in Morley and feel a definite bond for it. Well, this is a grooming business. We've been open 12 years had to shut down for six weeks because of the non-essential travel and then after six weeks we reopened the grooming and had a massive influx of people desperate for their dogs grooming loads and loads of home grooms which were really interesting that we had to sort out we've just not stopped ever since to be honest we can't complain we've been very very fortunate in keeping open keeping busy well for me it's home it's where my kids have grown up i think it is a bit special and you've only to look at sort of events like how many people turn out for the saint george's day parade and remembrance day parades and things like that it, it does attract a lot of people it's a bit of a special place for people to come community i think the, there is just a community feel as soon as you get here the amount of people that have just been bobbing their heads in and wishing as well and asking when we're opening so they want to be back in here again and including the businesses around everyone just wants to be involved with each other our love of yorkshire will be very very prominent to see all the beer on draft will be from yorkshire the spirits gins the coffee everything is 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 as yorkshire as we can get it because that's what we do our aim is to try and promote the arts to the local community. We've been set up for two years and the, what we've been trying to do is to try and make art lessons more fun and more engaging for lots of different age groups. So my feelings about art is that you can, especially as an artist myself, is that it's a means of articulating the experience of being alive really and what it means, the things that are important to me and the things that matter to me I've expressed in my artwork and that's something that I'm trying to bring out in Arts Block and trying to encourage people to do uh, with the things that they create and produce. The beating heart of Morley is definitely its community spirit. People are really proud to be here whether it's they work here or they live here and I think it's just a very soulful, happy, vibrant town and everyone kind of wants to make it work. There's a lot of working together in cohesion, community cohesion. It's, it's lovely, it's nice. As always, be careful, be considerate, be kind, shop Morley, shop local, stay safe. Good day.